Okay, we're gonna be doing a two digit by two digit multiplication in the counting method. And so we're gonna start by setting our multiplicand on the extreme left of the abacus, and that's 52. So I'm gonna set one, two, three, four, five, and then two right next to it. That's 52. And then we're gonna go from the extreme right of the abacus to see where we need to set our multiplier. So as I touch each rod, I'm gonna be moving to the left, and I'm going to be saying each digit of my, um, my equation plus the multiplication sign. So I'm going to say 5, 2 times 6, 4. And that's where I'm going to start with my multiplier. I'm going to set it right there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is the 10 thousands column. And then in the thousands column, I'm going to set the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the 4 of the multiplier. And then I'm going to move my right index finger directly to the right of the multiplier, and I'm going to use my left index finger to feel for what, what I want to be multiplying. So I'm going to start here in the ones column of the multiplier, which is my thousands column, and I'm going to use my left index finger. I'm going to say four and then times five, which is the tens column of the multiplicand. So I'm multiplying the four times the five. So four times five is 20. I'm going to use my left index finger to set a two in the hundreds. So two and a zero. So in the tens, I don't set anything because 20 is a two zero. Now I'm going to multiply the four of my multiplier by the two. So the ones and the ones of each of those numbers. So four times two is eight, but remember we always wanna think of it as zero eight. So I'm not setting any numbers in my tens column and I'm gonna say zero eight. So in the units rod, I'm going to set eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to go back to the four of my multiplier and I'm going to clear it. Okay, after I clear that, I can start with my six in my multiplier, and I'm gonna multiply that by the five. So I'm gonna move my right index finger directly to the right of my multiplier, and I'm going to say six times five, which is 30. So I'm gonna set the three of the 30, so it's a three zero, so I'm gonna set the three of the 30 in my thousands rod, one, two, three, and then zero in my hundreds rod. And then I'm gonna move on with my multiplication. I'm gonna multiply six times two. The two is in the ones place in the multiplicand. So six times two is 12, which is one, two. So I'm gonna set the one in the hundreds and the two in the tens. Then I'm going to clear my multiplier which was the six, that was what was left. And then I get my product. And this is the answer to my multiplication equation, which is 3,328. 3,